this right here is the Q Honey Badger SBR POW Personal Offensive Weapon. This is quite possibly, uh, pro most definitely on everyone's bucket list of firearms to own. This thing is an absolute beauty. I can't even, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just happy I'm getting to hold one in my hands. Obviously, this is in 300 Blackout. This also has the Q uh, Trash Panda can on it as well. And yeah, let me just tell you, <laughs> this thing is a treat to shoot. This thing comes in at uh, just over 20 inches collapsed, 24.75 extended. The overall weight minus can and optic is 4.8 pounds. Uh, the barrel itself is seven inches with a one in five twist rate. And uh, they come they come factory with, with that uh, two, two stage trigger. It is so much fun to shoot. It is like, it's, it's, it's just, again, it's one of those bucket list dream um, firearms. I'll, I'll come in so you guys can get a little bit closer look. But this thing is truly a masterpiece. There's really uh, no, nothing about this, this, uh, this firearm that isn't just perfect from, from front to end, right? Like, I'm definitely gonna have to find some way to pick one up. Definitely, whatever they're asking you to pay, it's worth the money. Um, it, it, and what I, well, honestly, one of the things I love the most is this uh, over-flared magwell. Uh, I've been talking about it for a long time, how this should, should, this should really just be the standard. I don't understand why more companies aren't, aren't going with the pre-flared magwell. It just makes sense, right? Like, why would you not, why wasn't that, why wasn't that already designed into the original development of most lowers, right? But yeah, uh, <laughs> again, just a dream. So stepping back real quick. So the rounds I just shot were not subsonic. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun and we're gonna shoot some, we're gonna shoot non-subsonic and then subsonic rounds back and forth. So you guys can kind of hear the difference uh, between shooting the two different uh, variables. So this is non-subsonic. Non and this is subsonic. Massive difference. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it is a massive difference. Again, non-subsonic, subsonic. a huge difference in the amount of sound being produced. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, again, I'm not sure if the microphone is, is picking it up and all, at all, but we'll do, we'll do two more. So again, non-subsonic and subsonic. Yeah, again, super fun to shoot and you can't, you just can't go wrong with this thing. This is, this is a, a dream build. You know what I mean? Like this is what is on everyone's bucket list. Like I said, I'm just glad that I get a chance to do a review on it and shoot it. Um, but I would highly recommend, again, whatever the price is, I think these typically are around like the high twos, but if I could, I would definitely be picking up one of these. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you guys have any questions more about it, I can do another video. Um, but I will see you guys for Frag Out Friday. I hope you guys again enjoyed this as much as I, as much as I did. And I hope that the, the mic was able to to really kind of give you a good idea of the sound difference um, with being so close to the the weapon system. But with that said, I will see you guys like I said for Frag Out Friday. As always, stay loose, battle on, and if you bitch in your heart, it'll show.